Hey you guys, if you clicked on this video, you're probably a subscriber of mine, which is extremely important, or you were searching for a video on how to create and work with a recipe in Capture One Pro. Well, this is the video for you. I'm gonna quickly show you step-by-step -step how to create one and why you should be using recipes in Capture One Pro. Hey you guys, welcome back to Focus with the GK. My name is George Kushler, owner of GK Photography here in New Orleans. I'm a working pro, self-employed, only income, photography, 27 years. Yes, so photography literally is my life. And time is money. And the Capture One Pro recipes are so awesome because they're very easy to set up and it saves me a lot of time. Let me show you how to do one yourself. Let's go into Capture One. Now you're looking at your gallery of images right here, okay? And these are my five star images of the baby that I love so much. And what I wanna do is I wanna take these three and put it into one folder on my desktop called GK Marketing Faves. So let's go to Export up here where it says export recipes you want to click the three top ones right there okay a little menu dealios and click add recipe new recipe when you do that you're gonna get it'll say untitled recipes simply rename it to what you want it to be whatever you want to call your folder um, mine that I just created was called marketing faves now Every time I look at a job, whether it's a wedding, a portrait session, it doesn't matter. When I turn this recipe on, it's going to do this full step. So any job I'm looking at and I hit export on GK Marketing Faves, whatever I'm exporting is going to go into this same folder on my desktop. Okay? So right now, you're going to come to location and you're going to go to choose folder. All right? On my desktop, I created the folder, GK Marketing Faves. Choose folder boom that's where it's always gonna go now there's something else I'm gonna show you in a second let's finish this recipe first you want to leave your image high resolution you don't have to really do anything to format and size right here however if you wanted to resize your image um, you know to print up to 8x10 size or web size I'm gonna show you that next but this is where you will do those changes now when I click export, bottom right, way over here, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna put this image into that folder, okay? So boom, my computer's super fast, so there it is. You just saw the line. Usually you don't even see it, it's so quick. So let me show you. Here is my GK Marketing Faves folder. There's the image, boom, that's it. All right, now if you noticed, on the inside of here, I've got print up to eight by 10, and I have Facebook, and let me explain to you why I have these things. Say I wanted to take these images and make them printable up to eight by 10 size. Now, go to export, do the same thing I just told you to do, make a new recipe. Here's my eight by 10 size that I made. Now, the difference is I have this clicked to location same as original file what that means is the session that you're looking at you know the job you're looking at that folder is where it's gonna put the folder you're creating right now meaning I'm looking at my raw files from my beautiful senior right here but inside that folder I want to keep her organized okay I want her developed images to be in the same folder so I'm not hunting for all kind of folders all over my computer so I'm gonna have it clicked on same as original file I'm gonna name it print up to 8x10 okay that's the name of the folder and then what I want it to do is format and size right here I uh, brought the quality down to 63 resolution to 50 the long edge Okay, the long edge, meaning no matter which way your image looks, whether it's vertical or horizontal image, the long edge is going to be 10. Okay, so 8 by 10. That's the largest resolution this image is going to be worth. So they can't print anything larger than that because that's why they're coming to me for my professional services. Go ahead and hit export. Boom. Now let's see. Let's go to Ali's folder. 
Look, print up to eight by 10. There they are. And just so you can see what I'm talking about, let me open this up in Photoshop. Uh, just so you can get a gist of it. Let's go to image size. And this image is 10 on the wide side, on the long side, okay? There's your eight at 250. That's what it did to all those images for that recipe. Isn't that cool? So when I do a wedding, I literally only have to turn on those buttons for what I wanted to do, and it'll process my RAWs, high resolution digital files in my develop folder, okay? That's what I call it. It's in my RAW folder to my client. It's all in one spot. So is the print update by 10, so is the Facebook, so is the website folder that I have created, but it's all in that client. So when you go looking for Joe Blow, you know, Jane Smith, her job that you did in that one folder is all of her stuff. I know, right? You're welcome. You're welcome very much. Thank you. Click the PayPal button on the bottom and send me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> you have to send me any money. Um, however, if you are considering using Capture One Pro, I do have an affiliate link below. It does help support the channel. I truly appreciate you for being here, and I'm going to do more of these real world usability workflow videos because this is what I do for a living. And if it's helping me, I've been burned in the past. I've tried things that didn't work. When I make a video to show you, it's because I've been through all the mess and the stuff I'm doing now works seamlessly. And uh, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Stay focused on your dreams. And that's it. Peace. <laughs>